Hello everyone, uh, I'm not Plebis, and welcome back to another video. Now, I have taken a long ass hiatus, and that hiatus was because I didn't have things to edit, and I didn't have good recording software, until I got a little thing called OBS. Um, but, and anyway, let's, uh, say, it's like, no, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial for Hearts of Iron 4 today, just so you can see. A... Uh, if you want to update, this is basically a tutorial on how to update your mods. Currently, it's 1.10.3, uh, Battle for the Bosporus. So, I'm going to be showing you how to update your mods. So, first off, uh, for example, say, like, I want to, uh, I don't know, update the, uh, Ghana Paul Bear is mod. Now, uh, you could just do the, now, a lot, I see a lot of tutorials online, it's like, you could do it this way. Uh, you could just search for the, uh, the name. Or something like that, but now here's a lot easier. So first off, open up files. So just open up files right here. Then open up files again by right clicking and click on File Explorer again. Now you have two files open. So what you're gonna want to do is go to Documents on one of them, Paradox, Hearts of Iron 4. Scroll down to Mod. Now, I, now this is gonna be all the mod playlists. Now, on the other one, you want to scroll down to Windows, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Workshop, Content, and then you come up with this. Now, the Hearts of Iron 4 one is 3943-394-360. If you want to know what it, it is from the get-go, uh, just, you know, hover over. Just, uh, where's my heart's around for? There it is. Hover over it. Just for a few seconds. And you'll see. Steam, uh, numbers, run game ID, 3943-36360. Now you could see other ones. 444. Okay. New Vegas, 22300. And other shit. So, click on the heart's around for one. Now you'll come up with the long list. Uh, so it's gonna be a lot hard. Uh, you can do the lays the, uh, the way that is least efficient of just clicking through each one of them. Um, but what I do recommend is getting a software like WinRAR. But I I personally prefer uh whatever the fuck that is. Uh, hang on, I'm not sure. I'll 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 tell you in a minute. Um, but yeah, when you have both of those open, just click the mod. Uh, just go into the launcher. You will have to close the launcher. So, and then open it. Click that that little dot 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 thing in the bottom corner, and open in Steam Workshop. Close that. I just got OBS. So now that you have this, uh, so what you're gonna want to do is look up here. The the question question mark ID equals two zero two zero seven numbers so what you say and then just numbers so you take those numbers and close this you will need to close it so now and I'll open up these two files just come like this now look at the numbers two zero seven eight eight seven now you don't have to go through the full numbers just scroll down on one of them you come across 207887 or just 207. Is it the correct one? Yes, it is. Now, scroll down on the other one. Now, I would more recommend you doing it this way than this. Just do the file one, then do this one. If it doesn't show up, just re keep on resetting your computer until it works. That I always ha that happens to me sometimes. Uh, say, like, if you download an already outdated mod, just do that. Just, just restart your computer. Uh, if not, just uninstall and reinstall it. Close files because it will update it. You can tell if it says updated the time you downloaded the mod. So, uh, you will see this. Uh, and make it simpler. Uh, wait. God damn it. I fucking file shit's messed up. Alright, just, so just right click on this. And now it's going to be a lot easier. I'll show you an example in a minute. Um, but. Just click here, right click it, and open with. You could click choose another app or notepad. Now I think notepad doesn't come basic, you just have to click choose another app. 
However, if you just click it right now, it's going to be a video file, mod file. Just click it. Yeah, it is inflatable. So just right click it. Open with Notepad. Now you'll bring up this. Now don't worry, do not click anything else. If you do that, you'll fuck up everything. Now, you could just do basic. Just so you see this. Supported version equals 1.9.1. .1. Now, don't touch this and do not touch anything else. Don't touch that. Just touch this. Just only this part. Alright? So click this to nine. Now, the current version of Hearts of Iron 4 is 10 point is 1.10.3. So you could just you could do this. Uh, and then get rid of there. Boom. You enter it, just click this, it'll says, Do you want to save? Just click save it as just click save or save as I don't know what shows up, forgot. And bring up that. However, the next Hearts of Iron 4 update will make all the mods that run on this invalid. So you have to manually update them or wait for the mod developer to update them. Which you'll have to go for the first one because, well, many mods that I love or many people like aren't supported anymore. Uh, such as Together for Victory Overhaul, uh, Family Friendly Hill, uh, Family Friendly Hilter, I like to call it, and uh, Hero Details Mega Chip. So just the classics right there. So here's what you do. Backspace and get rid of that and click shift 8 it brings up the asterisk now why you need the asterisk well the asterisk is to substitute for literally any number and you could just do that you could now do this for 10 if you hear noises in the background that's my retarded brother there now what this does you don't change the one if you change the one you're screwing yourself I they're probably never gonna change the one so what you're gonna do is right here Change it to asterisk and asterisk. What that will do is it will always, always, the asterisk is basically a substitute. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but basically, the asterisk could be any number, kind of like bullshit ass algebra that no one likes. Because if you like algebra, you're weird. So even if it's, if you go back in time and put it as 1.6.2, It'll still work. If you go back, if you go forward in time to eventually like 1.4 million and 0.3, uh, by Hearts of Iron 19 will already be out. Um, so it'll still work. Save. Here's the thing. Save. Now go to the now go to this one. The uh, In Paradox Interactive Hearts of Iron 4 mod in the Documents folder. And 207. It's right here. Right click. Open with Notepad and just do the exact same thing. I really have to take a short, but uh, not that it's anything. So uh, I have a few mods, and I'm just gonna close this because you won't really need this. You, know, you, you just do the exact same thing for all of the mods. Now there are gonna be a few mods that require like a file extractor. Well, I'll try bringing up one. Mm, let's go to the top one. Nope. Uh-uh. Aha! This one. Now, it will see if it'll bring up this, which is a WinRAR zip archive. I do not like WinRAR. I prefer 7-zip, so I'll link that in the description. So what you're going to do is do not use WinRAR. I think you will need WinRAR. So download WinRAR I to, to even use it. So download it. I'll link both of them. But use 7-zip. It's a lot easier. Click Open Archive. And I'll bring up this. This is basically the exact same as the file we did recently. So just right click. If you if you click it, it'll open, again open up this bullshit. And you'll be able to do it. So just, just, just right click it. You know, right click it. And... Don't click any of these, really. Don't even click that, that'll fuck you really badly. Click open, it'll do this shit again. So don't. What you will need to do is click view. I don't know why it's view, but apparently view is like opening up notepad, and it brings up this. So just to do something, I'll just fix this. There you go. 
And now that I change this, I'll have to change in the other one. So RG, RG, RGFX white font map, white map. Yes. Now you can close this, and then go into documents. Remember the number, seven oh nine. You can just use the first three. If you come across one of the first three, just use the first four. Like that's that's basically easiest you can get up. So seven oh nine. Open with. I think, thank God, all of these you can open with Notepad. You don't need to open up with WinRAR or anything like that. And let's change that. Just like that. There you go. And that's how you update mods. Now, if you go back into the launcher, this will take a minute. I hate loading up Paradox games. I, don't know. I played a couple, you know, like you go to the classics, Vicky 2, U4. Boy 4, obviously all those classics, C C CK2, you know, all classics, but uh, I uh, played them before in other people's houses, you know, classics. Let's go down here, manage all mods, and now you should see. Oh my god, my leg is... Alright, jeez, okay. Now, go back up here. Boom, Gone Up All Bears is now playable. Congratulations. Now, you could do it with other mods. I know you will have to do it with like Family Friendly Germany, Focus Street Backgrounds, Disc, not that one. But like some of them will not be supported, like Chef Mussolini, uh, maybe some M13, but uh, you know, there you go. There, there's a simple explanation. Uh, I'll see you in more tutorials while we upload some more Hearts of Iron 4 legitimate content, and I'll catch you boys later.